This beautiful boat just took delivery of my Yellowfin 130 tandem. It's the new boat from Vibe. It's got everybody all excited because of the way it paddles single or double. I uh, just got done doing my inspection. The boat looked great. And that's definitely something that you want to do when you get a new boat from any company. Do your inspection before you sign the paperwork. This is Ozzy here. He thinks it's his. This actually probably will be his spot. Um, anytime you get a boat shipped to you from Vibe, you get all of this lovely trash. But this helps protect your boat. They're going to wrap it in bubble wrap. Then they're going to wrap it in a felt blanket. And then two layers of thick, heavy-duty plastic. I use this stuff landscaping around my yard because I have so much of it at this point. But back to the boat, you get two very comfortable hero seats. You get two journey paddles. There's a hatch up front that has your spare piece of plastic in it, just in case you need to do some plastic welding. Uh, with the hull warranty, you shouldn't ever have to worry about that. But there's a hatch out back that has your paperwork in it. Don't lose that. That's what you're going to need to register your boat if you do need to do a warranty. On the way back, you've got your rudder set up. It's just like the one on the Sea Ghost. So you should be able to use the Sea Ghost rudder. Um, and then you should be able to run your rudder cables just like you do on the Sea Ghost. Here's your, here's your setup here for that. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing that. Uh, out back, way, way out back, so in the middle position, probably hard to get to. You've got your rod holders, flush mount. It looks like they kick straight out back, but I will put some rods in them to test them out. So there she is, your Plano 3600 box holders. Pretty similar to the ones on the Ghost. But I will make a note for you. As you can see on my dirty kayak, there's no lip here. On the new yellow fin, there's a lip here. That's going to keep your tackle box from kicking out underneath your seat. I know that was a complaint with a lot of you guys. Uh, the way the tackle box kick out underneath the seats once you secure them, it puts pressure on them and they kick out. That should solve that problem. And we can thank Josh Thomas for coming up with that awesome idea. So you've got a little, little bungee up front, a little bungee net out back, that's pretty much the Yellowfin 130T in a nutshell. So there she is side by side with Ozzy's two kayaks.